Activating success with love, Idoko. Welcome back. Today we're honored to have someone who is an inspiration to countless people all over the world. She's a pastor, she's a wife, she's a mother, and she's also the MD CEO of Beauty Secrets Skin Care and Spa. Today we're honored to have Pastor Mrs. Deborah Omale, welcome to Activating Success. Thank you so much. We're so honored to have you. Thank you, thank you. You look really beautiful, by the way. And you too. <laughs> thank okay. you. Okay, this is Activating Success. I'm going to start with this question. Are there shortcuts to success? No. No, no shortcuts. No shortcut. Tell us what you think about being successful. I think being successful is believing in yourself, doing what suits you not doing what everyone else is doing. You know, that one thing that you're passionate about, that even when you're woken up from your sleep, you can talk about it, you can do it, and you can be it. And hard work, staying consistent and being persistent. You just don't um, decide, oh, today I want to do this, tomorrow I want to do that, tomorrow I want to do that. Or, oh, this is what is raining now, fish farming is raining, I think I should do it. Or I should grow crops and all of that. Just Find that one thing that is particular to you. Find that one thing that you're excited to talk about. Find that one thing that gives you peace of mind. And when you find it, stick to it, no matter how hard it might be at the beginning. If you're consistent and you put in the work that is required, you will definitely get to where you want to get to. Oh, yes. Okay. What is your most urgent and pressing message for young ladies in our generation today? Believe in yourself. Mm. Not everyone will accept you. Not everyone will believe in you. Not everyone will support you emotionally and financially. Mm. But if you anchor your life, you know, trust in God, ask him for directions, and be willing to obey that voice when it comes. Some people call it their instinct, but I call it the spirit of God. Mm. Whatever you call it, be it your instinct. If you listen to it, you would overcome mistakes that you would probably regret you know in life so trust trust in god believe in his direction believe in yourself even if everybody is saying no no but you're getting it in your spirit that this is what will work for you stay in it and at the end everyone who said you couldn't do it will turn around and give you the ovation that you oh, deserve that means those same people that laughed at you yeah will turn laugh yes will laugh with you later mm. true well <laughs> okay um, somebody is watching you right now and she's saying to herself, I was in a bad relationship, I had a bad relationship, bad experience, I was mistreated, I was abused, I was cheated on, and I'm so confused about life. A great man once said that maybe you made a mistake, but you are not a mistake. Yes. What do you have to say to such a person watching you right now? What I would say to that one person, just take a deep breath, first of all, and never let a broken heart you know, deter you from who you are. You're not a failure. You are not a failure. 
you were created perfectly and everything about you is just right. So if you've had a bad experience, dust it off and move on to the next. What I would say is, you know, you didn't lose. Whoever has treated you badly, whoever has spoken down to you has lost, but you have not lost. So if you allow what people say, how people treat you, weigh you down, you will just be giving your life away. But if you don't let it get to you, because no matter who you are and no matter how good you are, you will always find people who will never believe in you, who will look down on you, who will make you feel like you're nothing, who will make you feel like you're useless. But if you have that inner voice speaking to you and telling yourself, I can make it, I am good just the way I am, I am perfect just the way I am, that is all that you need. And every voice of opposition will just become silent. Mm -hmm. That's, that's wow. to me, that's just it. Wow. In case you're watching us right now, I believe you're getting inspired. Whatever you have been through in life, don't let it define you. You made a mistake, but you are not a mistake. It is possible to be celebrated. Yes. Don't go away. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Hello, friend. I'm Mike Murdoch. Keep watching Activating Success with my wonderful, wonderful friend, Love Idoko. This is Bishop Noel Jones, and I want you to continue watching Activate Success with Love Idoko. Welcome back. In case you're just tuning in, this is Activating Success with Love Idoko. And today we're honored to have Pastor Mrs. Deborah Omale. We've been enjoying you on the show today. Thank you so much. Okay, let's talk about the um, spa and um, beauty secrets. You know, <laughs> Tell us more about beauty secrets. Okay, beauty secrets is a salon and a spa that caters to women, couple, men. You know, It's a one-stop shop for beauty. Where you come in, you can get your hair done, you can get your nails done, you can get your facial, you can get your massage, you can get laser, and then we do have a dermatologist who looks into the more you know, specialized or let's say medical related skin issues that you might have. We do practically everything from injectables, everything. Wow. Just like a one-stop shop for beauty. All the secrets. All the secrets, <laughs> yes. Speaking of all the secrets, actually what better beauty secret was at the time, it was beginning to look like everyone was almost getting perfect. And when you would ask, you know, a lot of people would never want to reveal what they were doing, you know, to achieve maybe the skin or the hair or the body shape, whatever the case. They would, you know, feel too, you know, too, I don't, I don't know what to use, but they wouldn't want to tell you what they were doing to look yes. the way they were. You know, and it brought a lot of confidence issues, especially for women. So I wanted a place where you would come and everything that was hidden about beauty would just be made open. open. So whatever the case may be, whatever is bothering you and you come, we'll be able to say, okay, we think you should do this. We think you should use this product. We think you should do this treatment. And you actually get what you want. Mm, wow. And by the way, Beauty Secrets is world class. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. We didn't want everyone traveling out of Abuja, you know, to <laughs> every time you needed to get something done, you'd have to go to Lagos or you have to go to the UK or you go to America. We wanted to bring all of that at home mm. and at, you know, very affordable price. Wow. Well, yes, yes, you have. Your prices are really good. Yes. Thank you so, so much. So in case you're watching us right now <laughs> and you're looking for a world class spa, please look for Beauty Secrets Skin Care and Spa. Thank you so much. Okay, back to inspiration. Somebody is watching you right now who is confused about life, who is frustrated, who needs a push to get to the mm. next level. What word of encouragement do you have for such a person? I would say don't let anyone take the zeal of life away from you. No one has the right to detect your life. No one has the right to influence you in a negative way, if you don't allow it. Bear it in, you know, in your mind that there will always be people who will talk down at you. There will always be people who will never believe in you. There will be people who wouldn't support you emotionally and financially. Even if they could, they would not because they've seen you know, where you're going. And sometimes people are scared. They don't want to have a competition or they want to be the only one in the family that stands out. But I tell you, do these three things. Ask God for direction. Depend on him. Believe in yourself. 
trust your instincts. Anything you're going to do and your spirit is not agreeing with it or your mind is not at rest, don't do it. If you can do these three things, I tell you the sky is the limit. Wow. Yeah. That is so powerful. Okay. You're a pastor and a pastor's wife as well. Yes. Tell us, how has your experience been? It's been wonderful. It's not been easy. But by the grace of God, I've got, I think it's just two things that have kept everything going and easy for me. I've got God. I've got a very supportive husband who, who you know, he's so busy. He's a prophet of this season. He's a father to a lot of people. But I've also got people who have helped me so far. I've got a lot of support from our members, from the pastorate. So it actually makes my work easy, even at home. You know, I, I just try to balance everything. It's not as difficult as people think it is, especially when you have a great team. And I think I've got that at Divine Hand of God. Mm. I have a great team there, wow. so it makes it easy for me. Okay, if you have an opportunity to live your life all over again, is there something you want to do differently? What would I want to do differently? Hmm, that's a big question. What would I want to do differently? I want to do different treats. That, mean, oh my God. That, that means you're living a fulfilled life because you're finding it very yes. difficult. Yes, like I don't think I want to do anything, anything differently, differently, but I want to be wary of people. I want to be wary of the kind of friends, you know, that I let in, mm. you know, because I've been, you know, disappointed one way or the other. Mm. And I think it's because I'm too open. Mm. So I think that's the only thing I'll do differently. I'll be very wary of people you know, I, I bring close. Mm. Yes. But besides that, I think everything is just perfect. Oh, wow. Talking yes. about friends. You Les want to Brown go there now. <laughs> Les Brown said something. <laughs> he said that if you're the smartest in your group, you need to get a new group. So you are the re reflection of the association yes. you keep. So I, tell us in fact, I that. totally agree. I totally agree. I believe in being in a circle that I can learn from, you know, a circle that inspires me. You know, if, you've, if you have a great plan for yourself, I'm telling you 99% of how far you go is determined by the people around you. Mm. So I, I, I think it's important you move around with the right people, you relate with the right people, you share opinions, secrets, you know, whatever it is with the right kind of people. I think it is, it's more important than people want to admit but to me, I think it's the bane of everything. Mm. The people around you. Just like my mentor said, yes. he said, show me, Dr. Mike Mudok, he said, show me your five best friends and I can predict your future. Yes, I totally, I totally, totally agree. I think it's, it's important, especially for our kids, it's important from a very young age to begin to nurture them in that regard so that when they are too grown, you don't have to really put in too much effort. From a very young age, we should tell our children these things, you know, about the group you, you, you flow with, about the people you relate with, about the people you hang around with. I think it's very, very important. Okay, finally, I would like to say something um, Dr. Miles Munro said about beauty. He said it is not enough to go to the beauty place, the fingernail yes. place, yes. get character. Yes. So a lot of young ladies are watching you right now and, oh, I want to you know, look yes. very beautiful and all that, but they've forgotten as well that they need also to have the right character. A great man once said that character will open doors, um, charisma will open doors for you, but only your character, character will keep, will keep those doors open. Yes. What do you have to say about that? I totally, totally agree. I, there's something I've learned so much from my husband, and that's humility. Humility is very important. You know, don't carry your shoulders, don't be all up in, people can't talk to you, people can't relate to you because you feel, you know, you are all that. Nobody's all that. The only thing I, you know, most times when I'm teaching, I tell people something. What makes one person different from the other is opportunity. Mm. You've had an opportunity, that's why you are where you are. True. And you'd be surprised how many other people would even do better than you if they had the opportunity. It's just because they've not had it. So everyone has their day. So just treat people with respect. Treat people nicely. No matter how good you look, if your attitude is bad, people will not, you know, people will not even want to be around you. People will not want to relate with you. So you find that you have so much, but you're always alone. 
Why? Because people just feel like, ah, we can't talk to her or we can't talk to him. So it's very important to me. It's, it's just the most, I, I don't, I can't relate to people that are not humble. Mm. You know, just, just be humble. There's, there's, it's not, life is not, it's, it's too What's hard life? already. God even gave you everything you Yes, have, it's so. too hard already. Mm. And it's just because you've had the opportunity. Yeah. And you'll be surprised. That one person that you have looked down on, you felt like, oh, this person, what can I even get from her? Tomorrow you might be knocking on that same God door. And that if that person is not a God-fearing person, he or she will remind you of tomorrow or of yesterday. That's Was it not that same person? So you don't know when you need anybody, you know. So just, just put your shoulders down a little bit. Nobody wants to really see it, mm. you know. Wow. Yeah. This is so powerful. <laughs> Tell us about mm. what's the strongest burden on your heart right now, what you're passionate about. This is like hungry children. Mm. It's so sad. Hungry children, you know, women battered, you know, don't have a voice, nobody to speak for them. You know, especially the things happening at the IDP camps. You see children that are practically boneless, can't get just, you know, clean water to drink. I, that's a burden for me. Like, I, I don't, you know, answering this question is bringing so much emotions. Mm -hmm. it's, it's sad when you see children that, that are not being taken care of. And I don't want to blame the government. I'm not blaming anybody. But I just feel we can do better as a nation. Mm -hmm. I think we can do better as people. We should, we, we should show more compassion. Do, you don't have to announce anything you're doing. Nobody has to see any money. Nobody has to see any gift items. But just take that little time and just be kind to humanity. Because it could have been you, you know, affected with all of these things. So it, it will be a great joy. You know, it's almost impossible to ask. But it will, be, it, will, it will just be something else to see a world where water is affordable. Tap is running. You know, you don't know. Sometimes you, you find that I went to Pape recently, you know, we're planning on opening a church there and driving through Pape, I couldn't believe the living conditions of people. Mm. We can make Nigeria perfect, but we can make it better. And with all the things you see in the news and you wonder, we have this much and yet so it, 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 it will be a dream come true to see a Nigeria where people are living the way they should. That would be a dream. Wow. Yes. You're so passionate about So, this. so. I can feel it. For women and children, my God. Like, that's why, do you know I have like a women praying group? Oh, what's it called? Where it's the, the wings, is, um, a short abbreviation for divine women in God's service. And sometimes when I hear what women go through and they don't have anyone to share it with, and even if they share it, sometimes even the law courts are not always in our favor. So it's, it's really sad. Mm. It's really sad when you get to talk to these women one-on-one. -on -one. It's really sad. Wow. Yeah. Do you have something to say to one of such women watching you right now? Speak up. You know? Just talk to somebody. Don't, don't, you're not an island. Just look for the right body. Look for the right person. Look for the right family. So that you don't die in silence. Someone once said a problem shared is a problem solved. I really believe in that. Don't, don't just keep it to yourself. Whatever abuse, whatever you know, maltreatment you're facing. There's just that one person that you share with and you'll be surprised how, you know, everything will just turn around for your favor and for your good. So if you're going through any emotional stress or any abuse in your marriage or in whatever, you know, society, and even some cultures are not too friendly to us, but speak up, don't be quiet. Wow, yeah. this is so powerful. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank You've you made so me much. cry. I didn't plan I, to do that. We're having a perfect, 
interview and God this question you to had to that come here for someone to be healed today. <laughs> thank, thank you, you so much. much. I had thank a you. wonderful time. Thank, thank you. you. I've never cried in an interview oh, before. Wow. So this is the first. Oh wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> thank We're you. We're breaking records. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Hi, my name is Shaka Pia. My name is Desmond Elliott. You're looking for a world-class venue? For your conferences, weddings, seminars, dinners, and weddings? In Makodi, Bainway State, you finally found one. The Dream Center. That's your perfect choice. Everything events. <music> Number five, Kashimi Brian Road, beside Immigration Office, Old GRA, Makodi, Bainway State. The Dream Center, everything events. See you there. Wow, that was so, so powerful. No matter what you're going through right now, God can heal you. God can change your story. Keep working very hard. Keep pushing. Keep trying. And one day, your time will come. Join us, same station, same time, next week. Thank you. Thank you.